change is possible. I guess we learned that this week. And, in fact, I would point out that much of the Bible is written so that we actively pursue change. In our first lesson, the prophet Amos calls the nation to stop relying on prayers and religious acts and invest and to practice justice and right relationship with one another and thus with God. The reading from Wisdom calls us to change our ways from following foolishness to listening to Lady Wisdom. And in our Gospel, well, the Kingdom of Heaven could be like ten bridesmaids. They all get ready for the party. They light their lamps and go. But the bridegroom is delayed. and Five run out of oil. The others don't share theirs. So then the five leave and go and buy more oil. While away, the groom arrives. The party is started. And upon their return, the five are left standing out in the cold. Well, that's one possibility. But note, Jesus doesn't say the kingdom of heaven is like this, as he does in most of the other parables of the kingdom except this one and another. You see, Jesus has told us the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for a fine pearl. The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner hiring day laborers for his vineyard and more. For all you grammarians, the intro to this parable is in the passive tense. The reign of heavens will be compared to, will be likened to. Now, some might say this little grammar detail is unimportant. But as we were reminded this week, every little thing like votes should count, should be counted. And as I started out this sermon, we can do better. We can be better. We are better than this. We can change. So yes, the reign of the heavens can may be compared to some people not being prepared, leaving, and being out and about and distracted. But if we remember what Jesus preaches and teaches in other parts of this same gospel, and remember God's word from other places in the Bible, well, the reign of God's heavens can also be likened to ten people heading out for a party. But things don't go as planned. The Ubers don't come right away, the caterers delayed. The guests end up waiting a lot longer than they expected. They wait so long, they all decide to take a little nap. When the guest of honor eventually shows up, the guest batteries were dead. One half of them hadn't brought their charge cords or charges. The other half did. So when those who did had charged their phones just enough, they shared so that everyone had enough power so that when the doors were open, 
they could party and take pictures, and everyone had an amazing time dancing, singing, snapping pics and selfies. Because, you know, that's what the reign of God's heaven is like. So let's make sure we are focused, eagerly anticipating, sharing, practicing God's kingdom way. The kingdom of heaven is then like a party, a party for all. Amen.